and making their way to the ring. Your challengers in the CCW Tag Team Championship match, Ted. The resident scumbag with a new member. Yeah, the resident scumbags being accompanied by Lou Spector to the ring. You know, this, uh, these guys have everything figured out. I think tonight be the night that we finally get the titles off the South American Alliance. I was interested you should say that, as Lou Spector clearly has those tag team belts over his shoulder. And our last event is Fort St. Lucie. The resident scumbag stole those titles. Same possession as nine tenths of the law. Scumbags are only doing what's right. They're taking what should be theirs. These guys have it all put together. I'm super excited to see them finally take the titles home with them tonight, officially, here in CCW. Huh. Lou Spectre better think of how have a firm grasp on those titles. He wants to walk away with them, whether they win the match or not. He's playing here the white champion. He actually has physical possession of those tag team titles. But if the South American Alliance gets a hold of them, he's done. Here they come, Ariel Levy and the, the Brazilian destroyer Vinicius, the true CCW Tag Team Champions. You know, these guys started off their reign as Tag Team Champions so hot. They were out destroying everyone in their path, and I can't help but notice that since the CCW crowd has gotten behind them, I think they've gotten just a little soft. These guys really need to step up their game if they're going to get those belts back from the resident scumbags and Blue Spectre here tonight. Yeah, but they are the tag team champion. That's why I don't understand why CCW officials haven't gone to Blue Spectre demanded those titles back. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, baby. These guys are all about taking what's theirs. And if that means they're trying to win the title tonight, even if they lose the match, then they're the tag team champions, baby. A little bit of Lou Spector influence, Ted? Is that what's going on here? I'm just saying. I talked to Lou a little bit earlier today, and he was kind of laying things out for me, and I can't help but agree with the man. And you'll notice, conspicuous by his absence tonight, Bill Alfonso, the manager of champions. Yeah, Fonzie's not here to protect this giant anymore. You know, he's out here running his mouth, blowing his whistle, calls and distractions. We all know that's why these guys still have the belt. Without Fonzie in their corner tonight, there's no way they win this one. Well, only time will tell. And Lou Spector, I, I gotta tell you, the bell rings and the Canadian, excuse me, the Brazilian destroyer, Venetius all over Miami Mike, big clothesline. Tyler Thorne backing off the newest member of the resident scumbags. Miami Mike blocking the body slam, and he's turned it into a T-bone suplex. Up and over. I got to give it up to the, to the Venetius, man. He is big, he is powerful, he can move. But I got to say, once again, I think the resident scumbags will get this one figured out here tonight. Tyler Thorne under a clothesline. He went for the cross body, got him a little bit off balance. But Venetius still standing strong, picks him up. Look at the test of strength. Nice backbreaker there. It was a modified backbreaker. He landed on the ribs, right on the floating ribs there. As a martial artist, I'll tell you, whenever someone gets kicked in those, in those floating ribs, those ribs are meant to move around with your lungs, and it makes your lungs inflamed, and you can't catch your breath anymore. That's why they call it getting the wind knocked out. Beautiful double team maneuver there. Ariel Levy with a springboard leg drop. Tyler Thorne, the newest member of the resident scumbags, in deep trouble here. Right hand by Levy, got him in the corner. Sends him across hard into the buckle, goes Thorne. Double knee by Levy, and a beautiful cartwheel. Look at Levy. You know, pretty boy, Ariel Levy. I've talked to him on Rewind before, too. He thinks he's so much better than everyone else. He thinks he's so much better looking than everyone else. This guy has got to get his game together and stop being focused so much on taunting his opponents and get the job done if he wants his belt back. That's all I'm going to say about that. Well, I mean, you can admit he's a pretty good looking guy. I mean, listen, as far the guy's as a movie star. He's a movie star. He's a quote-unquote movie star. I mean, you know, do, do movies from Chile even count? I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you. Oh, Tyler Thorne there with a nice flying uppercut forearm. Well done. Caught Ariel Levy off guard. Gets the two count. 
Lou Spector's going to lead these guys to victory tonight. That's exactly the kind of leadership they, these guys best, need. Baby! Calling himself the best. He's got Ariel Levy. Oh, raking the eyes across the rope. Classic maneuver. Gotta love it. These guys have it put together, Dan, I'm telling you. New tag team champion. Well, they are working well as a tag team, I will admit. We saw Lou Spector admonishing his man there, Tyler Thorne. He says, don't waste time talking to the camera, talking to the fans. Make sure we go after Levy, get him pinned. Let's walk away with these tag team titles for real this time. Levy now turning around Miami Mike, going to work on him. Right hands in the corner. Miami Mike now slips out underneath the right hand and goes to work again on Levy. And Miami Mike, just if he, if he can keep this momentum going, he will do everything Lou Spector has told him, and then we'll be good to go tonight. These two have been a great pairing at all over the CCW circuit. Looking forward to seeing these guys keep up the momentum. Ariel Levy, look at him. He's just accepting this punishment. He has no answer. This guy is out for it. Close while Miami Mike delivering a successive elbow drops. Had it, Levy covered. Levy able to power out, but now Miami Mike, nice vertical suplex. You know, nice suplex, taking out that lumbar spine. You take out that core strength, you take away their ability to lift, and that's what's important in the ring here in CCW, being thoughtful in what you're doing. Yeah, Miami Mike better be careful. He's awful close to that corner. Manish is making the mistake of getting in the ring without the tag. Referee, our senior official, Bruce Owens, has no choice but to put him back outside. And the team of the Miami, of the, of Miami Mike and Tyler Thorne took advantage. You know, listen, I got it. I'm behind the resident scumbags here tonight. It's no, I'm no, uh, not hiding that in any way, shape, or form. But we got to make sure this officiating team sees these tags. Are these guys kidding me? Spend a little bit less time talking to Venetius in the corner. Put the put the big boy back on through the ropes and do your job, official. Come on. Owen seems to be on top of it. Ariel Levin now off taking the head of steam off the rope, but he caught a spine buster there by Thorne. Two. Thorne's spine buster put Ariel Levy down right on his tailbone. He's gonna have a lot of trouble gathering the strength to make a lot, whole lot more kickouts. <laughs> Don't waste your time, Levy, kid. Levy needs to make the tag. Venice is well rested on the apron. Thorne all over him. Look like he raked the back that time. Taunting Venetius is not smart, bud. You need to get back to work and get Ariel Levy pinned on the mat. Thorne now with the right hand to the jaw. Referee admonishing him, open up that fist. The scumbags have to realize that they have a better chance of putting Ariel Levy down than they do Venetius. They got to take advantage of this and stay on top of them. Stop slowing down the pace, keep it up, and work their style of match. Well, that seems to be exactly what's going on. They've done a nice job of isolating him. This new guy, Thorne, he's, he's taunting too much, and that's what's the problem with that. Levy going to work with chops in the corner. I think he might be making a mistake, Ted. He needs to take advantage of the time he has now to make the tag. And now a reversal by Thorne. Levy paid the price. Down hard from a clothesline, and he lost his chance to make the tag. Cover now to... Overconfidence by the supposed champions who don't have the belts, by the way. You know, the, the Ariel Levy thinks he can do anything to anybody, and here he is getting his behind beat by the resident scumbags. Well, the scumbags are working well together, that's for sure. Miami Mike had that boot up. Levy's head driven right into it. Miami Mike completely in control now. Levy back into the corner. Oh, but he's up and over Miami Mike. And that, little hesitation, that little hesitation by Miami, Mike, by Miami Mike to get him while he was in the corner gave Ariel the exact... There it is. There's that flashbang roll-up he does with a V-trigger knee off the rope. Beautifully done, but Levy... He's down flat on his back. It took every bit of energy out of him to get those knees delivered. And now he's got to crawl over and make that tag. If he does, forget about it. Resident scumbags are in big trouble. Miami Mike crawling towards his corner. Lou Spector absolutely apoplectic on the outside trying to get him to make that tag. Yeah, if, if, if Lou doesn't get his man to do, do the job, Thor and tag, and so is Venetius. In he comes. Back elbow. Down goes Thor. And a close line. Nicely done by the big man. Venetius now in control. Big cross body block. He could have him here. He's not going for the cover though, Ted. If 
Benicia hits the, the greetings from Coco Cabana, this thing is over. We can't have it. He makes the tag. Levy, I don't know if he's up to it yet or not, but he's got him up for the greetings from Coco Cabana with the assist from Levy. They got him. Wait a minute. He's got him covered. Two and three, winners of the match. But you saw it. Miami Mike and Luce back to with those belts. They saw Coco go up to the Coco Cabana. Coco Cabana knew he had no chance. They grabbed the belt and they're hightailed it out of here. Levy after him, but they're too late. Like I said earlier, Dan, possession is nine tenths of the law. The South American Lions, they came out victorious tonight. They may have had the uh, residents come back to number, but you know what? The residents come back. Luis Becker outsmarting Venetius. Once again, Fonzie's out here to be the brain, and now all of a sudden, these guys still have the tag team goal. Unbelievable. Big win by the tag team champs, but again, Luis Specter. And Miami Mike leaving Thorne all alone in the ring. They saw him up in greenish Cuba Cabana. Knew there was no chance for him to kick out. They grabbed those tag team titles and they hightailed it out of Nashville. What a match. High impact. And uh, this Thorne kid is still laying on the ringside. Ariel has some words for him. All right, wrestling fans, we'll be right back with ladies action. Right Do you want to be a Mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear. 